Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a huge thrift haul today. I always have tiny thrift hauls, but I feel like today's thrift yeah. haul is big and it is a lot of home decor and I am very excited to share it with you guys. Let me get the clothing things out of the way because if you're anything like me, home decor is just where it's at. <laughs> like, that is what I live to thrift. So the first item of clothing I got is this dress. It is a dress. I don't know if you guys can see. And I love it. It's like the perfect summer stretchy mom dress to throw on and just this pretty floral print. I love it. It was a little pricey, especially for like the brand, but when something fits you nice, I'm totally the type of person that's like, I gotta get it. So this was $13.99, which is silly for a thrift store, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not totally outrageous. And actually I've already worn it like five times, so I'm happy about it. The next thing that I got are, these leather sandals they have a little wedge heel I'm not really a like high heeled dress shoe type person because I never actually have anything to wear them to but when I came across these they're super soft they're definitely worn in like you can see the foot imprint but I just loved them and they're really like a casual type shoe I love the color so I got them and I have already worn them once, which is nice. Sticking with the shoe theme, I picked up these Vans. They're a little dirty, but I'm not mad about it. And I love that they have this little detail on the tag, these little stripes. So I did just pick these up and they were a little snug and I thought that they fit, but I wore them the other day and they're too small. I'm gonna give them to my sister. I already showed them to her and she was really excited about them. So she's gonna get these. My next and final clothing piece is this beautiful sort of mustardy sweater. I love that it's lightweight, but also really slouchy and big. And that's how I like my sweater. On to the best part, which is all of the home decor. You guys know how much I love baskets. It's kind of a problem, but I promise you that all of my baskets have a purpose. I don't buy a basket for no reason. So every basket that I've bought right now, it does have a purpose. Otherwise, I'm very much into like, I purge and get rid of things if they don't have a purpose in my home. Let me start with these two baskets. And they have my son's toys in them. And what I loved about them is that they have this little like linen-y cloth, which is perfect for toys. And they are on his shelf in his bedroom. I loved that they were identical. Nice, cute little set. Yes, it's nice to have some toys on display, but when you have something like dinosaurs, which I got a lot of these thrifting, it's nice to kind of have a container for them. So I was really excited when I found these, especially with the fabric inside. Really cute and perfect for some storage. Just picked up these little baskets. How Cute. I loved them when I saw these and these were only, this was $1.99 for this little set. Right now, this one, the smaller one, I am using for my remote controllers, all those little, those little Apple controllers that are so tiny and easy to lose. So now there's a little spot for them. This one is on a shelf by my front door and currently we're just putting our keys in it. So nice little containers and I loved the color and the type of basket. You can't like go wrong with $1.99, so love these. Give you a break from baskets because there's more. But I picked up this incredible rattan, um, what do you call this, magazine rack. Do you guys see this? I'm in love. I don't have anything like this in my home. Rattan, is that how you guys say it? I hope I'm saying that right. But I've been seeing this all over Instagram and love it. But at the same time, I don't need to be picking up like an entire chair. This is currently in my son's room right next to this little rocking chair that I got him in my previous thrift haul. And it's just his books that we read to him before his nap and before bed. And it's the perfect little spot. I love it. 
Me and my family went to the farmer's market these past two weekends and we picked up this beautiful all natural um, handmade lavender soap. And usually we have like this squirty soap. <laughs> That's like natural too, but needed to pick up some sort of soap dish. And I didn't see anything like any traditional soap dishes at the thrift store, but I did find this and it is, um, what does it say? Mount Clemens Pottery. Can you guys see that? I thought it kind of had like a cute, like farmhouse type feel to it. So currently it is my soap dish, but I also thought, you know, if I end up not needing it as a soap dish, cause it is a little big, it would also make a really cute, like kind of larger candle. And I've thought of kind of doing some DIY candles. So this would make a great little base for a candle holder. Next thing that I picked up is kind of a sneak peek for next week's video because I am doing a DIY for my son's room. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen this in my Insta stories and it is this lion head basket that I'm gonna try and make. So I was looking for supplies and I guess it's a little sneak peek. I found this big basket and some of this straw. This was $1.99. And I think this was also something like $1.99. So stay tuned. I'm very excited to do this DIY, hopefully next week. I have only two more things left and one of them is another basket. Oh. But I was telling my husband that I wanted to get like a larger style laundry basket because we just had this fluorescent green one and you know, I figured we can find something cuter for really cheap at a thrift store. So. I wanted to say bye bye to my fluorescent green laundry basket and I picked up this, which is so nice and big. Um, it did have a handle and then the other handle was broken. So I just took off the other one fully so that it's just uniformed. And yeah, there's no issues with it. I did wipe it out because it looked a little dirty, but it is for my dirty laundry. So it's really nice sitting in my bathroom. Our like laundry is in our bathroom so it's nice to kind of have uh, something cute <laughs> so that you don't just have you know your laundry sitting everywhere so yeah that's my new laundry basket and i'm very excited i think i got that for five dollars i said i only had one more thing but i have two more things <laughs> so i forgot that i picked up this oh, as my lavender falls everywhere i picked up this little glass jar for 50 cents and I just wanted a tall sort of, just wanted a taller vase and I've really been into farmhouse style, but I feel like not like old farmhouse style, like kind of newer farmhouse towards the boho minimal side. I don't know, but I was really excited to find just a cute little vase for 50 cents. I didn't have anything like that. I also forgot to mention one more thing. <laughs> And that is the frame for my little old man painting. I picked that old man painting up, um, was it a few months back? And I found a frame that almost fits perfectly. I did paint a little piece of paper at the back there because it was a smidge too small. It kind of gives it a nice finished look. Lastly, I saved the best for last because isn't that how it should be? I found this and I think this was only $3, which is blowing my mind. I think it was four, I think it was $4 either way. It is this beautiful, I don't know if you wanna call it a rug or a tapestry. Um, I'll try and, I'll insert a full shot of it here. I found this and I just fell in love with it. It is beautiful, natural colors. Uh, I did use it layered with my this small little jute rug I have in my room, and I kind of layered it on top of that, but at the same time, it could easily be hung on a wall as a tapestry. I just didn't have a spot for it like that. This, I feel like, is like the find of all finds, at least for me, I love this type of thing. And this type of thing, you just, I feel like you don't really come across this stuff. and for. And for it to be $4 was like, you feel like you won. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that was everything. I think that was, that was a pretty big size thrift haul for me. You guys know I usually have on the smaller side, but that was a lot of stuff. 
and I know it was a lot of baskets, but I promise they all have a use. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22 for more of my everyday life. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.